I thought it would be appropriate to show you guys my unicorn head on a stick for this video. I absolutely love unicorns and this is like one of my favorite things in my room of all time. I'm just gonna lay this guy down for a sec because I don't think that I'm gonna be able to carry any books with this guy in my hand. So let's get started! Some of these books that I have here today, I didn't just buy in this last month. Some of them have been piling up maybe for two or three months. Recently, I've started reading my books mostly on my Kindle because I don't really have a lot of bookshelf space anymore. Luckily, I am planning on building new bookshelves right over here maybe in a couple weeks or so. I just really, really wanted to get some more books to show you guys. So I'm gonna be showing you guys the ones that I bought a longer time ago first. I think those are only like two books. And then I'm gonna show you guys the ones that I bought like in this week. I got Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard a while back. I haven't read this book yet. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I've heard a lot of mixed things about it. I've heard a lot of bad things about it as well. I'm very open-minded. I will be reading this soon, but there are a couple of other books on my TBR list that I would rather get through first, and maybe I can get started on this one in a couple weeks or so. Now, the second one I'm going to show you guys I got about a month ago, and that is The Ever Never Handbook by Salman Chainani. I think I'm pronouncing his name right. This is basically a companion novel to the School for Good and Evil books, which are these ones right here. These were one of my favorite books of all time. It is actually a middle grade series, and it's basically about these two girls who get kidnapped. In this world, every four years, two people get kidnapped and are taken to this school for good and evil where one of them goes to the school for good and learns how to become, I don't know, a princess or a prince or a knight or just someone who's really good. And the other person gets sent to the school for evil where they learn how to be evil, they learn how to cause mischief, they learn how to cast evil spells on people and basically the purpose of that is that after the four years that they spend at school they get sent out to live in a fairy tale so basically the first book is about two girls Sophie and Agatha Sophie is very beautiful she does a lot of good deeds she herself believes that she is a very good person and on the other hand you have Agatha she's not that very pretty she doesn't like being very social she hides away a lot a lot of people consider her to be a witch Sophie and Agatha are best friends and when they get kidnapped Sophie thinks that she's going to be sent to the school for good and Agatha believes that she's going to be sent to the school for evil but everything just gets turned upside down when Sophie ends up in the school for evil and Agatha gets sent to the school for good and it's basically just about the two of them trying to survive learning a lot more about themselves learning a lot about their past despite it being a middle grade book it has a lot of dark themes it makes you question who really is good, who really is evil. It has a lot of best friend versus boyfriend themes. I would definitely recommend it to any of you who would really like to read about a deep friendship with meaning. So this Ever and Ever handbook basically just, um, it has a lot of illustrations. I would not read this if you haven't finished all three books yet because it has spoilers on the inside. It just has very beautiful pictures and it basically just expands in the world, tells the reader a bit more about different classes that people take, the different school activities, just a lot more about the history. Um, I found it to be an extremely interesting read because not only does it expand upon the world, it also has a tiny tiny bit of a storyline written into it. Like I said, I wouldn't recommend this if you haven't read any of the books, um, especially if you haven't read the, all three of them, but I would really 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 recommend the series. It is such a good series and I do not think anyone will regret reading it. So another book that I got a while back is Stars Above by Marissa Meyer. This is basically just a collection of novellas from the Lunar Chronicles series. Um, the Lunar Chronicles series is one of my favorite series of all time as well. I haven't gotten a chance to read this yet, I've been really busy, but I'm really excited and I hope to be getting to this one soon as well. Another book that I got quite recently is Moon Chosen by PC Cast. PC Cast is one of my favorite authors of all time. This series just started. This book only came out a couple of days ago, I think. I don't know. I got it. I got it a week early by some chance. Thank you very much. But basically, it is about a girl called Marie. She is part of a clan. Apparently, she gets chosen by an animal ally, which will forever change her life. She meets a guy called Nick. 
Nick is from a dominating rival tribe and she forms an alliance with him and basically together they have to destroy an evil that has risen up against the world. It's basically just about mythology and magic. If I'm not mistaken, I think that the clans that they are referring to here could be the Native American clans. I'm not really familiar with the culture of those as much as I would like to be, but PC Cast is absolutely trustworthy when it comes to writing about people's heritage, writing about magic, writing about mythology. There's usually a goddess involved who helps the characters. I absolutely love PC Cast's writing and I basically read up to chapter four so far. Um, I've been really enjoying it, but unfortunately I've been kept really busy with my start of university. I definitely hope to finish it sometime soon. The next couple books came in the post yesterday and today. So the first one that came is Dorothy Must Die by Daniel Page. Um, I think most people know what this book is about. I think the third book came out not too long ago. I've been meaning to read this for over a year now. I'm just really, really, really excited. I really hope to get to this one soon as well. So the next one that I want to show you guys is probably not a very well-known book, and it is The Priest by Monica Laporta. I think this book is actually self-published off Amazon. I read the synopsis on Goodreads and I was just completely taken by it. So basically, it is about a place called Genesia. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Basically, in Genesia, it is a place where women rule. Women basically run everything the men are enslaved and basically heterosexual love is forbidden so only the love between two women is allowed there is this man called Mauricio and he's a slave he's been imprisoned almost all of his life and then he hears a girl Rosie sing and it basically says that an impossible friendship blooms. I am just really excited to read this. I think that this is an adult book. I'm not entirely sure. Basically, it's some sort of dystopian science fiction novel and I'm just really excited to get to it. So moving on, yesterday, these two babies came in the post. Queen of Shadows and Empire of Storms, both by Sarah J. Mass. Now, when I got these in the post yesterday, I realized that they were both in the wrong edition. I have the reprinted colorful Bloomsbury editions in paperback. These one right here, I think these are really, really beautiful. These are really, really, really beautiful covers as well. It's just that they don't really match the other half of my series. And I get really frustrated when my books don't match. Unfortunately, the colorful paperbacks usually only come out about a year after the book is published. Uh, this is because I think that in the US, the hardcover colorful books come out first. Now, I love hardcover books and I would have no problem buying them if hardcover books weren't just so freaking expensive here in Europe. I don't know how expensive they are in the States, but here it's not abnormal to be spending about 18 or even 20 euros on a hardcover book. I don't think that I have enough money to get everything in hardcover. I also just like the feel of a paperback. I love how it doesn't take up as much space as a hardcover book. So I decided to keep Empire of Storms and send Queen of Shadows back. Um, Amazon was just really really nice and they told me that I didn't have to send the item back but that I would get a refund anyway so I already ordered Queen of Shadows in the edition that I really wanted and two packets came in the post today so I'm gonna open them right in front of you and hopefully it's gonna be in there so I bought two books today um, I'm just gonna open I think this is probably the one that you want to open first mm. I hate how these always break off. Yay! Here we have Queen of Shadows by Sarah J. Mass in the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful red edition that I really, really wanted. Now these all match. I'm only just gonna have to wait a year for Empire of Storms to come out in this beautiful edition. Ugh. So far, I've only read Throne of Glass and Crown of Midnight. I read these a while back. I think I wasn't really in a good place in my life when I read these. It was when I started university last year. I was really sad. I was really depressed. I didn't really come into it with a good mindset. So I decided to reread these, especially because I just heard so many good things about the series. Everyone's in love with it. And I am an absolute fan of Sarah J. Mass's the Court of Thorns and Roses series. I love that series with all my heart. And because I just love her writing so much, I'm gonna reread the series and maybe do some book reviews. I'm currently on Throne of Glass. Um, I'm reading it on my Kindle because it's really handy to be able to take my Kindle everywhere. I can read it in the tram, I can read it on the bus. Um, but this beautiful ba these beautiful babies are coming onto my shelves. Then the second book that came in the post today 
I'm gonna open it. Oh, okay. And last but not least, I have Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Allier Sainz. Is that how you pronounce it? I have heard absolutely fabulous things about this book. I'm just really excited. I think that the cover is just gorgeous. I'm just really excited to get into this and hopefully I can get to this in the next couple of weeks as well. Oh, these are a lot of books. I'm just gonna put them down before I cause some sort of accident. So there you have it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And I will definitely be seeing you guys soon with another video. See you next time. Bye!